In our next section, we will focus on how you can optimise your searches in iBase by using wildcards. We would like to conduct some searches on postcodes. In our training database, we have a location entity. I'm going to create a new record. Here is our postcode field, which is stored on our location entity. Let's search on this field using queries. First, choose the entity type that we're going to search on. I'm going to go and find it in the structure list. I will select it and drop it over here. With my chosen entity type, I can go ahead and choose the fields that I would like to search on. Our first task is to find all postcodes that start with a letter followed by a number. For example, Birmingham postcodes start with B for Bravo and are then followed by a number. Let's select the field we want to run our search on, postcode. Operator starts with. We're looking for postcodes that start with B. Then we'd like to find any numbers between the range 0 to 9. We can do this using square brackets. As an example, we will add an open square bracket, followed by 0, hyphen, 9, close square bracket. Let's run the results. The query has found us any postcode starting with B, followed by a number within the range of 0 to 9. We can use wildcards to find values that contain spaces, which are particularly useful if you have inconsistent formats or poor quality data in your database. Let's create a new query. We'll focus on postcodes once more. This time we're going to find all the postcodes that contain a space. Our operator will therefore be contains. In order to find all of the postcodes containing spaces, we're going to use the wildcard asterisk or a star, followed by the space bar, followed by another star. We'll run the results. I'm going to select all of the results found, right mouse click and show the records. Show records lists all of our selected records and it puts each field into a column. If we scroll across, here are our postcodes. We can see that it has found all the postcodes containing a space. In order to find out more about the wildcards available in the software and what they mean, head up to the help menu. Within help, select contents. Over on the left hand side, you have the option to select the search tab. As an example, let's search for wildcards. I'm going to choose about wildcard characters. And you can see all of the wildcards available within the software, together with an explanation as to how they work. As another note, you can use wildcards with the find search tool as well. The final part of this video will be looking at how you can create analyst notebook attributes from iBase fields. An iBase designer may be asked by users to have fields from iBase available as attributes. This is useful for them when they send data over to analyst notebook, as well as when they view iBase link charts. It also enables them to search and analyse their charts more effectively. First of all, you'll need to be logged into iBase Designer. In this example, we'll look at person. Select the field you require to chart as an attribute. Right mouse click and edit it. Towards the bottom left hand corner, there is a section to set up your attribute options. Let's create a new attribute. Give it a suitable name. A 
and then select a type that reflects the type of data that is stored in the field. I'm going to choose time. Next, we can set up some options regarding the display of the attribute. You can choose to have a symbol or not. You can also set up a prefix and or a suffix as required. For the last step, you'll need to ensure that you tick the values that you require to be displayed. For example, date. Once selected, you'll note there's an example of how the data will be displayed on the attribute. Next, we'll press OK. You'll see the chart attribute section has now been populated with the attribute you have created. Press OK again. Finally, if you need to edit your attribute, scroll down underneath your entity types and you will see chart attributes. Open up the list of attributes available in your database and right mouse click to edit one. This field will now be available as an attribute when the data is charted to Analyst Notebook or as an iBase link chart. Here at Shorter's Path, we publish a newsletter every quarter or so, which accompany our tips and tricks videos. Our newsletters contain lots more information about our courses, as well as events and exciting team news. If you'd like to receive a copy of our newsletter via email, hot off the press, send us your request to info at shortestpathtraining.com. Co.uk. Thank you very much for listening.